Shabbat. It's an amazing time where the phone goes off. There is no TV, there's no phone. The family comes together. Oh, you look like Prince Charming. For me, I'm in, I work in animation, right, in television, and television is a busy, crazy thing. And I'm so busy during the week, I don't have time to take a breath. I come home, it's dinner with the kids, it's give them a bath, brush your teeth, in bed, you know, give my wife a kiss, and I'm asleep and up again, and it starts again. <laughs> We're fortunate to live in, in times that we have access to such amazing technology in terms of communication and medicine and all of those things are wonderful. Uh, the problem is sometimes we can get too much information. Uh, it's very easy. We all carry mobile phones, so we're contactable at any time of, of day or night where um, people can send us emails or texts or tweets or, you know, I think half of the population now is on Facebook and, and many on, on Twitter. And what we have is this kind of overwhelming amount of information that we have to respond to emails and we have to respond to texts. And, and sometimes it feels like it's a, it's a never ending, uh, never ending story. For me, I'm a huge iPhone junkie. I'm an Apple guy. We have an iMac, we have a laptop, we have an iPhone, we have an iPad. We are an i family and we are always connected. Actually, I'm on the high level. I'm almost, I'm almost on the black. You know, my kids are on the iPad, I'm on the iPhone and uh, it's, it's incredible. They're amazing devices, but I find that I really feel like a slave to them. I mean, sometimes I'm at the dinner table and I don't want to bring my iPhone to the dinner table, but I have to because I have work emails coming in, I have texts coming in and I'm texting. And it's insane. And uh, I can't go 10 minutes without checking my iPhone. So we're bombarded with information. I got, you know, notifications coming up, Facebook. I got, you know, the tweets coming in. I got text messages. I got, you know, emails, phone calls. It's insane. So you, come on, you guys. Shabbos is coming in. Let's give Sadaka so we can light candles. Judaism has a, a secret, a way to deal with this overload of information. And this is based around the festivals, for example, Passover, and on a weekly basis, the Shabbat or the, the Sabbath day. <laughs> Shabbat and, and the Jewish holidays, it's an amazing time where the phone goes off and we really set aside a time to not be a slave to our devices. And we say like, you know, if you have one more day to live in your life, what would be the most meaningful thing you'd want to do? You'd want to spend time with your family and be surrounded by the people you love. Amen. So what, what's important about that experience, the Friday night meal or the, or the festival meals, is that everything is put to one side. All of the, the daily grind, the stresses that we have on a daily basis are put aside and we focus on the important things, on God, on family and some time off for ourselves. My kids know our Shabbat dinner, it's not like a 30 minute dinner, we gotta you know, brush teeth and go off to bed. It can go on for three hours. They can stay up as late as they want. <laughs> time is, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the thing that we have the most control over in our lives is our time. But everything is vying to distract us. We have billboards, radio, commercials, televisions, the iPhone, the iPad. Everything is vying for our time and trying to sell us something or distract us from something. To be free means I am going to control my own time. I think everyone, Jewish or not Jewish, take their iPhones and for 24 hours shut them off. See what happens. You know, my non-Jewish friends would think I'm crazy. How can I live without my iPhone? It's not possible. Try for 24 hours and see what happens to your family life. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Good Shabbos. Being in control of our time, I really believe, is the ultimate expression of our personal freedom. It's something that I would recommend to people, uh, Jewish or not, just to take some time every week where all of those distractions just get completely turned off. And what that does is it gives you something very special, an oasis of calm, an oasis of peace in a very busy world. And it gives us time for three things. Time for ourselves, time off. It gives us time to spend with our families and it gives us time to spend with God. I would like to wish everyone happy Passover and enjoy a lovely time and stay there with your families. Mechaim. 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 Mecha